Hey guys, we are going to build this new e-commerce project and we are going to use in this project TypeScript, Next.js, Sanity and Stripe for payment. As you can see, this is the main page of the project with many sections in it. And from here you can click and see the details of the product. Also you can zoom the photos and change them from here. This is the detailed page of the product. And from here also you can add the product to the cart. Now let's go to the home page again and explain the sections of the home page. This is a slide we can see it here in the content management. This is the panel of the admin or any user with the advantage of admin or editor. These are the slides. You can add a new one or you can edit any of these. And this is the product related to this slide. We have these two slides active and the third one is disactive. You can change it from here to be active or inactive. And from detail, you can see the details of the product related to this slide. And this section featured the products and selling the products. We can see them here in the content management. You can from any product add it to any of these sections. This is where to add the information of the product. And here we can see these sections. You can change them from here, add the product to any of these sections. And this is the rest of the details of the product. And regarding these offers or slashing prices, it is managed from here. You can see here there is price and the older price. And this is what created the slashing price. And from this cart icon, there's a notification that we have products in the cart. And from here also, we can increase or decrease the quantity of this item. And if we add from here the same item, we can see that the quantity here increased automatically. And from here, we can see the page of all products. And we can sort them here using the price low to high or high to low. Let's add also new product to our cart. And let's try here the search feature. Let's search for Tebe. We can see here the products contains this Tebe text. And also we can use the same feature to sort these products from low to high or from high to low. And from here we can see the categories of the products. Let's check this category. And here we can see the products related to this category. And also this category, home appliances. Now let's try to check out.
from here we can fill our address or the address of the client let's enter here in email the name of the client and the country any phone here street name and house number and the postal code if there is and here the city of the client and let's go to the next step here we add the address to our database and generate token and check also the information of the user if it is already exist and now we can see here the payment step and the products we order from here also you can check the product details and we can go back from checkout we didn't go to address step because it is already finished we went directly to payment step and from here we can also edit our order let's increase the quantity of this product we can see here that it is increased automatically now let's try to pay it is a processing and here is the page of Stripe to pay using a credit card. We can see our products here, all the details and the email of the user here. If we cancel and go back, we can see that the process is not finished and we returned back to the payment step because it is not completed. Now let's pay. Let's enter here the test credit card. And any name here. And let's pay. It's a processing. And now it is the turn of our application to process the order. We don't depend here only on the token of Stripe. We used also our own token. In this application security first and also SEO for search engines that's why we use the next JS we allowed here the user to check out as a guest for the user experience so if the user decide to create an account he can from here enter password and send it to our application now the user has been created and linked to this new order and also to the address we can see the order here and this is the details of the order and from here also we can check the detail of the product from account we can see the information of the user and from here also we can change the password but i'm not gonna test all of these features because i don't want the video to be longer let's now try to order new products let's add this product and this one as well Now we can see that our application bypassed the address step because there is no need to fill that address again and we are now automatically in the payment process and all of this information is saved in our local storage even if you refresh you can see that all the user information stays the same even the card stays open so now let's pay these are the products and here we can use the test credit card and now after processing the order we can see that the option of creating user is not here because the user already exists and from account we can see our orders here and the details of these orders
and from the admin panel we can see the orders here this is the detail of the order and this is the other order and we can see here that it is related to this address of John Doe this is the details of the address and also related to this user this is the user information and from here you can change the status of the order this is supposed to be connected to any shipment ABI we may add this feature later but for now we can just change it from here so if we change it to be shipped and update it here we can see the status here changed as well the icon of shipment now is a green and let's change the other order Let's for example make it delivered and let's update and check. It is automatically updated here. All the information of the website is here in the content management. You can change everything from here. It is dynamic, it is not static. Those are the orders. And here we save the address of the users and the user information here those are the slide and the categories of the products you can update them or add new categories from here and every product is related to any of these categories now let's try the other way that we created first the user before we order so we are not gonna order as a guest we're gonna try an authenticated user let's register using a new user let's use here jane at gmail.com adding password we made it easier for the user to create an account only email and password and from here the user can order any products let's for example add this product and this one and let's check out we can see here in the address information the email the user already added and we can't update it because it is related to this user we can update here the name and the same we can add the country any phone number address if there is postal code and the city not all the fields are required and now from here we can pay the same way And here's the order of the client and we can see that it is not giving the suggestion to create an account because it is already created and from the menu here we can go to the account and see the order of the user also the address here I'm not gonna show here how it is SEO and how we implemented the security checks or how to manage the content in the admin panel because I don't want to waste more time on that we are going to show all of these features when we create this application step by step we are not gonna miss anything or any detail but for now I just showed some of the important features and also I can show you that it is responsive we can use it also in mobile phones or any screen this is how it looks on mobile phones it is responsive and all the information shown correctly we can see the details of the orders and here we can see the products page 
and we can add also to the cart and here's the details of the cart and we can also search from here everything is working on mobile phones sorting or ordering and also we can check out and see all the information here it is responsive and usable on all screens so i'll see you guys in the next video when we start building this project